Good evening guys, coming from Meadowlands. Hope everyone is well and happy. After having a very successful day today, we had uh, four tips on the channel. We had one scratch. Wolfie's Dynagos didn't go in his race. But the other three won very well today. Ban Banjo, we had Vivi's Dream, and we had Eternal Hope. Beautiful to see guys. We did a three timer today. Well done to everybody that backed it. I hope you all filled your pockets good and well. Anyway, I'm here in Meadowlands, so I said I'd give you just a quick cut-up of tonight's racing. It's very low-level stuff, guys. Don't be opening your wallets too big tonight. These are very some inconsistent horses, some horses that can't get a lot of drop-downs here, guys. There's going to be a lot of horses drop down to these grades, and some of them are going to win by country lengths here. You won't, you won't even see it. Starting up in race one, we'll go through quick. The six races on the card. We, uh, to really, it's a toss-up between Sedona Rocks and Rock the Bank. I'm going with Sedona Rocks in the first here. I know he's probably favoured, but I think he should have enough in the, in the tank to go very well. Sedona Rocks, race one, Meadowlands. Then here, race two, Chad Brown should definitely win this race. He is the favourite and the second favourite here. First time out for one of them. And one of them ran a very competitive race in Saratoga last time. It's hot in here. And I believe it's, it's hot in here will win this race. But competitive threat was bred in Ireland. Giganstown stud bred this horse. So we love the grass. So don't have a little sneaky forecast, reverse forecast maybe on these two horses. I can't see anything coming in between these two Chad Brown horses if they run up to scratch here. So it's hot, it's hot in here is my selection for that race. Then in race three, my banker of the night. If you call a banker of the night, just low level stuff guys. As I said, we've had a great day so far, so don't give it back to them if you get a chance at all. Devil's only friend. This horse won last time out and I believe has it in itself to do it again tonight. Has true belief, probably for forecast purposes, if you want to play small, true belief will come second, the six and seven in a forecast. Reverse it if you want to be safe. Race four, I went for Fearless Christie in this one. There was three horses I liked, but I, I came down on Fearless Christie. I like it a lot and the value was there. Dropping down in class as well. So Fearless Christie, race four for me. Um, and then race five, there's one down the bottom here, guys, without a net. Um, has run very bad in two races don't get me wrong I looked at it but his, his workouts have been very very consistent so if he gets it all together at a good price without a net his bottom on the race card drops down and I believe we'll have a chance here without a net I'm going with, I'm going with him a bit of value then the final race of the night Fad the Nice this horse has a bit of a thing I have bet this horse a long long time ago on a stakes race I, th I think it was at Keeneland this is the only horse tonight that will run that will have had Frankie the Tory on its back no horse tonight in Meadowlands ha haven't even heard of Frankie the Tory nor has he sat in their back so that for me is the one for me tonight Fade the Noise for me I believe this horse will run very well tonight and uh, I believe this complete drop down in class from this horse has run some stake races be it at 31 40 to 1, I understand that. But they're not keeping hold of this horse for no reason. So, anyway, Fade the Noise, I think, is a good bet to close out the card. God bless you all. I hope you have a brilliant, brilliant evening. I hope you all filled your wallets up good and hard. And tomorrow I'll be back with a few more. I'm feeling good today, and so should all you guys. God bless you all.